Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and I just want to give you kind of an overview of the recipe for a simple linear regression model. <clears throat> so regression analysis is a statistical technique that we use in order to find a relationship between a dependent variable, y, to one or more independent variables. And our objective is to be able to build a regression model that can not only describe but predict predict the value of our dependent variable y based on this independent variable which we refer to as x. So it's important that you get those two clear in your head. Right? y is the dependent or response variable and is what we want to understand or predict. x is the independent often called the predictor variable and this is what we're going to use to understand and predict our value of y. So I've got a small data set here and it is the number of touchdowns as our y as our response variable and completion percentage as our predictor because in our heads we think completing passes has a positive relationship with the number of touchdowns thrown by an NFL quarterback. And so we can visually fit that line to see if our data supports what we think. We know from scatter plots from you know the beginning of your math career that they can take on one of three relationships. A positive relationship where the slope of the line is greater than zero, a negative relationship where the slope of the line is less than zero, or one in which there's no relationship, and in that case, our slope is equal to zero. So when we look at the simple regression equation, what we're able to say is that the expected value of y for a given value of x lies on a straight line, and that line has the equation of the estimated value of y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 times x1 plus epsilon. Let me break that down for you. Beta 0 and beta 1 are regression parameters. Beta 0 is the y-intercept simply the value of y when x is equal to 0. It's the point where our line crosses the y-axis. And beta 1 is the slope of the regression line. There's a problem with that. We never know the true values of these population parameters, so we're going to use our sample data to estimate them. And because of that, we're going to use b0 as the estimate of beta 0 and b1 as the estimate of beta 1. It's the same thing we've done throughout statistics where we let a sample statistic represent a population parameter. And what this results is a regression equation that looks like this. y hat is equal to b0 plus b1 times x1. Y hat, the reason we put the hat on top of the y is because it is an estimated, right, an estimated value of y. Beta 0, remember, is sim or b0 is simply going to be the slope or the intercept plus b1, our slope of the line, times x1. And I have the ones as my subscript because in this simple equation, we only have one predictor variable. Later in your career, you're going to see a lot more than one predictor variable. But let's just stick with one right now. Here's my quarterback data again. And so I've run the regression. And this is what my re regression line looks like. And there's an equation that goes along with that line based on the underlying data, and that equation is that y, my predicted number of touchdowns, is equal to 
negative 70.032, again, that's my y-intercept, plus the slope of that line, which is 1.4752 times x, and x is my predictor variable. So if I drop a value out of my head in for x, I can then solve for a predicted value of y. And that's what I did. If completion percentage is 64.2%, we would expect, remember it's an expected value, the quarterback to throw 24.2 touchdowns in a season. So I hope this gave you kind of a foundational overview of the simple linear regression equation. As always, I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.